And I only have like an hour to an hour and a half before I need to be in my next destination. So I'm hoping that I can get a good showing of the quilts. And if not, I hope you understand. And I will see you on the inside. So we are entering the quilt show and this is the raffle quilt. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> That was the membership lady. She was uh, joking and had um, she was posing for the camera. Now I'm looking around already and distracted. Hi, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, you, now you got to treat me right. <laughs> no. <laughs> so these are things for sale. No, she's the featured quilter. Oh, she's the featured quilter. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. I hadn't looked up yet. Thank you. Let me get her name up here for feature quilter and Cindy Walter. Very nice. But she's got she's got her own table turning here, <laughs> as well as quilts. Well, she's got like a triple or four boots. Three. She's got a triple booth. Darling. Now I'm going to cut you off so I can enjoy it. <laughs> so I'm just showing you some other stuff. There's a t-shirt quilt here. So these are all quilts that she made like family members and she has acquired them back. She talked about making family quilts where for her children, every birthday, she made a hand embroidered block here. <laughs> And then at every birthday, she had everyone sign their name on it. And then she went back over and hand embroidered the name. And she did that for 20 years for each one of her children. And then on their 21st birthday, she gave them the quilt. And then over here, she's now changed for the grandchildren quilts. Where she is having their hands and feet put in. And then she does that for 12 years. So, very creative lady here. But we're gonna go ahead and continue with the quilt show. Very pretty blue and white quilt. Now that I know that, yeah, I Very nice. Wow, scrap quilt here. This is your actual block. And it is actually a nine patch block and nine patch squares and half square triangles. It's like a Jacob's ladder pattern. Very similar. Postage stamp, but they've incorporated it. And she said it was left over from her brother's shirt that passed unexpectedly at age 52. So that's an awesome memory quilt. And then she's got a piano keys border. It's beautiful. There's her corner diagonal string. Oh, I thought you were going to get it. I mean, I got one of you, but it's because you're sideways talking. This is a chisel block. And then they added a strip on the side. Very pretty. Well, it's a chisel block and they had a strip in the middle. It's very pretty. So I may have to do that one. So it's custom quilted with a cross hatch. It's very nice. Okay. And 
this is a whole cloth quilt and it's just quilted with the butterflies and just a all over panto I think I don't think it's custom quilted nice star block here this is embroidered butterflies I think they're like the pre-printed panels because my friend um, yeah, has had yeah. some that would be really heavy to work with it would be like my gosh you get that on your lap and you start sewing you'd be like yeah it's a pre-printed block it's not the whole quilt thing done beautiful man. yes it is gorgeous I don't know who did the handwork a beautiful job on that too this is machine applique quilt looked like it was an embroidery design very nice sampler doesn't say who the designs are but it's beautiful miniatures out here and I am not going to be able to show you everything but it looks like they're all Christmas themed holiday themed sticking out so she made the section 3d it's beautiful very nice idea that was by Jane Murphy the designer is wallflower quilt pocket by Karen Swatty Swatley that's online. Whoops. Sorry. Uh-uh, you're okay. I'm just looking. You're not in it. Okay. <laughs> you want us in? You was narrating <laughs> for me. <laughs> well, she's on Facebook. Oh, and so she, she does has, it on Facebook? Yeah, and you can, it's free, like, print lessons that she gives. Oh, really? Oh, really? And who yeah, was that? Jean, Jean Harrison? Jean Harrison. And it's it. under uh, free motion quilting or something. But if you type in her name. Okay. Um, yeah. That's pretty cool. I've been following her. I printed off some of her stuff. I haven't taken the time to do it. And aren't you the... The, uh, the quilter with a little scrappy quilter. Yes. That's you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tea. So yeah. Very nice. Thank you so much for that information. I'll look that up. Okay. And you can't and you can't pull up the the lessons on an iPad. You have to do it from the computer. Okay. Because they don't come up. I have to make sure I do it on my computer. Okay. And uh, but yeah, all these good lessons. It's amazing. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. I just have we have practice. gone fishing here by Marilyn Montel, quilted by Vicki Hackman. Oh, that's pretty cool. She's got animals inside. Hope you can see that in the blue. She's got a deer, a bear, it's in the blue, trees, it's pretty cool panto, I think it's a panto. This one looks hand quilted. 
This one is just half square triangles with a solid and your bold print. It's very pretty. And then a nice Halloween panel quilt. spools she calls them salvaged spools because she used all the salvages very pretty and she's got a pretty cool sewing machine print border very very nice <laughs> this is sugar skulls And this is a uh, book called Future Farmers of America. Another pretty quote. So we'll start here, work our way around. Another beautiful quilt top. Here is your block. It's like a square. I'd say maybe four inches finished, two inches around, flip corner. Very pretty. like they used jelly rolls and stripped them and made squares and then cut them in half and this is what you have very pretty this is pretty unique you have your block in the center here and then you actually have a seam line here so that you can piece these three pieces together and then you add your sides on. But that's pretty cool. Nice block. The pattern is called Hole in the Wall by Eleanor Burns. It's Bonnie Pallister's quilt. Machine quilted, machine pieced. And it was quilted by Watson Quilting in Holland, Michigan. Scrappy rectangles. This one's called Kiss the Chef by Laura Kalaswaski. Designer is Gypsy White by Jim Kingwell. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's called Rolling Wedgies, Winkler style. She's got different things that she did with the wedge ruler. She says, I began this quilt as part of a class I taught at the 2014 retreat called Whirling Wedgies. Each member of my family colored a whirling wedgie pattern and chose from a stack of fabrics which fabrics represented each color on their pattern. The individual blocks are outlined in the designer's favorite color. The backing is made from the leftovers from all of the fabrics on the front of the quilt. So that's pretty cool. Well fence on point.
This one's called Night Sky. I like the bottom. So it looks more like a banner. It's up at the top as well. And this is Flutter By. <laughs> Very pretty as well. Spending money, Jane? Now this is really cool. I'm going to guess and say that these half square triangles are three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch. Maybe they're an inch, but it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Just gorgeous. Hi. Hi. How are this you? My granddaughter Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Oh, this is Chitty. This is Miss Tijuana. She's a member of my team. Are you going to be a quilter? She's trying. I'm just trying. thinking she likes the mud. I make stuff, most of We've already figured mm -hmm. that out. Well, that's good. I mean, you make what you like, so that's awesome. This is Chitty. Are you a member of this guild? No, I'm not. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this one's gorgeous. Okay, no problem. It's called Come Fly With Me. And it's by Cliffdale Dollar, quoted by Doreen Novak, because that's you know, not very important here because that's what makes this quote. It is beautiful. And it's like you're trailing geese in the middle with all of this beautiful quilting. Just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and even in the flying geese, she quilted something different and then did straight stitch in the white areas. So, very beautifully quilted. You know, uh, the um, things I made. This must be machine embroidered. I need a good design called The Last Supper. By Vicki Hickman. And the peach bouquet. It's a panel quilt, I'm assuming. She doesn't have any information on it. Called poppies. Young man's fancy. Love the quilting on this. They used blue heavyweight thread, it looks like, or oh, it's quilted twice or something, but it's very thickly quilted. It's beautiful. Scrappy Hexies. Designer is Lizzie B. Cree 8 Tib. So it's C R E 8 I B E. And here is another of the same quilt. Cone crosses. This one's called. It's a pattern, she said, by Kona. Very beautiful. Lots of quilting. My blue 
Haven. I see a star block right here. Same design here, different colorations, it's very cool. Hey, how are you doing with this on Facebook again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> this is called Route 66 Adola. Buggy born stars. Pretty cool wall hanging with stars and alternate rows called Ways of Glory. Hi. This one's called Explosion by Cliff Bell Dollar. And he had the one where had the trailing geese, or he or she, I'm assuming it's a he, but the quilter. <laughs> Bonnie Hunter quote here, I think. They call it Galaxy. Yeah. And a, that was her first Bonnie Hunter's mystery quote. I love the border on this one. And the designer for this is Pop Stars by Deb Tucker Studio 180 design. This quilt here. It's called First Ladies. And the designer is Tales of First Ladies by Eleanor Burns. So very pretty. Tequila. Tequila. Tijuana. 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 Yeah, I kept saying it's <laughs> something. Nice. How are you doing? <laughs> I forgot I had this old. I've been somewhere else. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you have a booth or something? No, no. I You're am just, just visiting. Oh, okay. I um just like to put them on YouTube for after the show for people that couldn't oh. see it, and it's a good documentation as well. What, how do I find it on YouTube? Just under T quilts. T E A quilts with an S. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Quilts with an S. T E A quilts with an S. All one word. Oh. oh okay. And then I probably I'm going to Houston, so it won't be up for a while. Is that oh, the Houston okay. market? Going I'm going to? to the Houston Quilt Show. Oh. Is that like the big market and stuff? It has. Big, well, it has right? the big. Yeah, but they have quilt market going on now. That's for stores. Yeah. And people that wholesalers okay. that buy stuff and, and resell. So, yes, but beautiful, beautiful work. Nice quilt, and I love churn dashes, so very nice. And got other sampler blocks <laughs> as well. Very nice quilt. Another pretty quilt. There is your block but it's actually turned like that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Beautiful. It's called Flower Dance. 
The designer is Spring Bloom. And here is another tie quilt. It's gorgeous, made in Dresden fans. Thirteen Batik Stars is what this one is called. <laughs> And I guess it's 13 Batik Stars. <laughs> Very pretty. I love the border as well. <laughs> Very beautiful pineapple quilt. It's gorgeous. Beautiful fan quilt variation. It's raw edge applique. The pattern designer is Garden Party by Laura Hine. Thank you. I have a panel quilt here with a log cabin around. They're pretty. I've made this block on my channel is to display hourglass. Have a whole series of other things that you can do with it as well. Tree of Life in the Metal. And this is called Tree of Life in Paradise. Snail trails across the top. Just gorgeous plaid quilt. Meandering on it is beautifully done. Very pretty sampler quilt. This is America's First Ladies. It's a beautiful sampler as well. You can go in. Filming? You go in, yes, but I'm gonna not put you in. <laughs> go ahead and look, I'm okay. <laughs> but the uh, ladies are all red work with their names underneath, which is beautiful. And it was a first Saturday quilt block project from 2003 to 2004. This person wanted you to see their quilting, so they had their quilt pinned back. More butterflies. Borders are pretty cool. I like having the other size borders and then come in with like a one inch border and then go back out. It's pretty. Another quilt block. Two corners are flipped and just sewn together. It's very pretty too. 
called to serve and protect. This quote was made for a young man who was recently graduated from the police academy. This one is Young Man's Fancy. Very beautifully done. Quilting. Uh, trail mix but it's done in control color pattern I've actually done this quilt all scrappy it's amazing how different it looks by just controlling the colors that are used in the quilt it's awesome another plaid quilt this one is called Suburban Skies and it's one of those tricky patterns but the pattern is called Suburban Skies by Abby Lane Quilt. So you gotta plan where your pieces are. And nice quilt pattern. I'll come back in this middle section. This is the Mariner's Long Star. And you've got all of the detail quilting. Just beautifully done. This one's called Vintage No, I'm recording from my YouTube channel. I um document the shows, but I don't put them out until after the show for people that didn't make it and then my YouTube subscribers that of course can't make it but it's a good documentation good history for their quilt show but yeah Of them came, they live in rural areas and can't, you know, get out as much. Handicapped, older. Very so, yes. Mm -hmm. And too far to travel or can't travel. <laughs> Just don't have the money, you know. So, yeah. This one's called Carnival Star. She wanted a little handkerchief and she wanted words. Another panel quilt. I love the blocks on the outside. I think it's stacking black. And then they use this panel. If it's a panel, I think it's a panel. And they may have added like some Brody purse on top as well of the panel maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but these are your blocks. So your hexagon blocks are in here. And then they also use like half of the blocks outside. It's pretty cool. And totally different. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't want to be in your way. Another quilt done with the same technique. Just looks completely different. It's amazing what fabric will do. Amazing. This is a family quilt, says she calls it my family. Beautifully done. Nice 
nice and really cool. This is called Cracker Jacks. <laughs> couple of Halloween quilts. Well, one Halloween and then a space quilt, rather. <laughs> and then here we have a nice pattern here. Doesn't say who the designer is. Has a house down on the bottom, or a cabin, shall I say. <laughs> and then this one's called Autumn Beauty. The designer on this Variations from a book, A Simple Life by Shelley Palagi. Very nice. I have a couple of quilts here. I'm just going to do an aerial view. Hi. <laughs> This one is Carol's quilt, and the pattern is the Carol quilt. <laughs> so your pattern is actually turned sideways. It's set on point, but it's beautifully done. Boutique fabrics. Another Carol quilt, different coloration. Turn it again for you. Very nice. And I'm just going to skip down here for just a second so you can see this final carol quilt in this area. Again, turn sideways. This is what you have. Yeah. bow tie quilt. It's called bow tie medallion. And then another bow tie quilt called fancy bow ties. Look at that beauty of a scrap quilt. Just all two inch finished squares. So you could actually use whatever size square you like. It doesn't say it has a designer on it. But there is your pattern right there. And here is another one. Nine patch medallion. It's made in the 30s prints. And again, it doesn't have any designer name on the information. Another side view. This one's called Window Cats. I love this illusion going on over here. Wow. Look like it's moving in the camera as well. <laughs> One of those cityscapes and then they added the arch in to make it for St. Louis. Yeah and got beautiful quilting on it as well. And this one's called Be My Neighbor. another be my neighbor so it must have been another group project here different coloring it's great to see the same quilt in different colorways <laughs> and another be my neighbor very nice you okay here <laughs> Oh, they got dogs galore. This is too cute. Yeah, I want to see the back of that. Very pretty. <laughs> Just gorgeous. This 
see if we can see this back wall I missed before. It's a challenge in this area and it uh, papers for people to vote here. I don't tend to vote at these because I'm looking at this through my camera lens and so by the time I go through once to record, I don't have the time to come back and look again to vote so I don't think it would be fair for me to vote. But I've actually done footprints in the sand for my sister in a larger okay. version and this is a neat a good design pattern as well. The show challenge that they're having you vote on here is flying geese. I know. So great ideas. Oh, this is cute. They actually got a geese or a goose with the flying geese going around. It's pretty cool. Nice flying geese coming together in the middle there. And they even quilted geese in the background here. Very nicely done. Okay, another scrappy quilt. It's got friendship stars in particular areas, very cool. It's called Calico Needler's Mystery Quilt, but it doesn't say who the designer is. So you have these blocks, Friendship Stars, and Nine Patches. I think those are the three blocks that are listed here. Very pretty. Channel cats. So this is a, called leftovers. I made this from leftover sew outs from my embroidery business. This is the disappearing hourglass again. quilts were designed by Kevin Hoffman. <laughs> Doesn't say it on this one. Yes, it's Sapphire Stars by says Kevin the Quilter, but his name is Kevin Hoffman. And just beautifully done. I also saw one of these in the show in Springfield, Missouri. But very, very nice. So let's look at the quilting differences on these. Oh, very nice. She did like oblong, longish pebbles. I'm so used to seeing pebbles very small. I love these. Nicely done. The quilting was done by Vicki Hickman. And then on this one, they did circles around the stars, even in the center. This one is hand quilted actually. And this one belongs to Bob Hartman. The one over there belongs to June Gill. Very nicely done. And I love, love the sashing. And the final quilt is Granny Squares. Look at all that deliciousness. More jello with additional borders. Another sapphire stars. 
This sapphire stars belong to Linda Ross. Oh, I know I love it. And it was also quilted by her. So let's look at the differences in quilting again. <laughs> Very beautifully done. Beautiful. Here's a pretty rail fence. They've got some skinny rails and some fat rails. <laughs> it's beautiful. So we will go up and take a look at this because they're just squares. So you start out with your rail fence and then you end up going into squares every so often. It's just beautiful. So. Here is trying to get the full quilt. Just gorgeousness. And then they even did it differently on the opposite corners. Just gorgeous. Love it. And here's another one. Just coins here, separated by black. Sean's Hunter Star. This Hunter Star is actually made with half square triangles. Some more miniature quilts here. to take a break here and change out my batteries and I'll be back so we're starting back up we have this beautiful log cabin quilt just awesome <laughs> go ahead go ahead come on through that's all part of recording <laughs> I don't want to break your camera <laughs> Beautiful. It's called Curved Low Cabin by Nancy Davis. It was quilted by Vicki Hickman. It's got kind of little squirrels. And pebbles. <laughs> I'm too busy looking. She's <laughs> helping. It's called Summer Picnic. Love the red fabric in the border. Isn't that just pretty? This paisley print, that's probably why I'm drawn to it. Very nice scrap quilt. Actually has a pattern to it. Very nice. Gorgeous. It's called Supernatural. I brought one. It's from the television show Supernaturals, and my daughter got me hooked on it too. I collected fabrics that reminded me of something from the show. It's very awesome. Some beautiful star block here. We had two picked out. One I had picked out, one you had picked out. <laughs> this is another one, Julie. So here, one we commented on. Sampler. And we have a stack of wax. <laughs> one block wonder, whatever you want to call it. But it's beautiful. Right on the other side of this here. I was like, that is. Oh, wow. And she did this one. Yeah. I'm trying to go one by one. 
by 12.30, five minutes, yeah. there will be a hand and applique demonstration in room 106. So that's where we're at right now. Presented by Sharon Gray. We're waiting a minute until we clear out a section. So maybe I'll just skip this section and come back, or just skip it. She's a dance cousin. Hi, how We've got a little bit of clearing here. Nice to meet you. And I told you. I have a disappearing nine patch quilt. They call it falling charms. They're all red frame blocks here and another sampler quilt here I've already been in the show an hour at this point Oops, I'm sorry you okay sampler quilt I only have about a half hour more that I can spend here this looks like something that the fat quarter shop did but I'm not sure but you choose your fabrics to go somebody snapshots quilt along I think it was on Fat Quarter Shop's website very beautiful That's and this one's called Skyward Nine beautifully done and then the Fat Quarters get heavier toward the bottom kind of reminds me of Tetris beautiful So you actually have a block that's on point tilted and then they just piece them in between strips. So they're actually all in rows but they're kind of turned differently. It's beautiful. I'll come back to this outside aisle. have some wedding, double wedding ring quilts, salvage quilt, and half square triangles. Some children quilts. And these stars. So again, this section is, this area is kind of crowded, so we're not going to be able to see everything. Another one of those house quilts with blocks in it. This pattern is Be My Neighbor by Moda. So all of the other ones then I'm assuming are Be My Neighbor. And I think I have these blocks. I might need to do this quote. It's pretty. And another sampler there. Hi. Do you want to, right? Yes. Okay. I knew you out from the. A while ago, I was standing in every side of you, and I thought, I know you from coming to retreat in Jet City. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just haven't I, been I, in a while, a yeah. couple years. And been long busy. our meeting, mm -hmm. we're. I am. We are talking about getting a meeting together. Yeah. Okay. It, Thank you. You too. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep trudging on. All right. <laughs> Oh, so they must have done the curved log cabin as a class, too. They've got another one here. Yeah, I need to see that one. That's turned on its side, which is a whole different perspective on this quilt. It's pretty cool. And then the other one here. And then if you want something different, there's a blue one. Just gorgeous. more of the bow tie blocks as well made into bed size quilts different colorations very nicely done and I showed you this quilt already <laughs> Oh, those are cute. No, no, but they're made in the United States. Uh, Christmas tree wall hanging. This designer is Christmas tree braid. Look, I didn't even notice them. Yeah, they're mismatched. So what's written on there, sorry. But that's pretty cool that it's just the braid quilt. Very nice. Different sizes. Yeah. This yeah. one is the designer's keepsake quilting, Christmas tree runner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. 
and this is the Quilter's Christmas tree again. And it says by Calico Patch Designs on this one. The Christmas tree braid. I think we're in the last aisle of quilts, so we shouldn't be much longer. I'm just trying to hold the camera off of these ladies in the booth. Oh, these are so much fun. This is the jungle quilt. It's fun. And we got Florence Flamingo. Oh, this is cute. We did the elephant, but they made a whole nother different scene with it. Very pretty. We did this at retreat a couple years ago. Or shall I say, maybe last year? I can't remember. Maybe it was last year. 2017, if you're looking for the video, would be in the May, the month of May 2017. I've been meaning to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> Another pink flamingo. That one's huge. I guess you get this out for the birthday. <laughs> I love that. That's yes, a birth so happy birthday quilt. Yeah. Or for maybe the month. Like people celebrate yeah. now their whole month. So that's pretty cool. Let's see who the designer is so people would know. Designer is the Happy Birthday Block of the Month by Raleigh Blake Designs. Probably for sale now, but it should still be available. That's cute. Mm -hmm. This is cute too, Laura. It's not scotch in here. Yeah. And this is hopscotch. I used to play this and draw these out as a kid all the time. My daughter, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of rubber band rope. Uh -huh. Like, Have you heard of that? We used to call them Chinese. They go around two people. Uh huh. We used what to call it a Chinese jump rope. Okay, then that's what it is. And uh -huh. my daughter, when I pulled, because I mean, we used to make ours. I mean, we poor in the city. We, we figured it out. Pot holder thing. We made them out of rubber band. <laughs> that's why I called it rubber band rope. We didn't know the difference. And I pulled it out for my daughter. Sat down one day, got a bag of rubber bands and made it. And I was like, we're going to have so much fun. I put the one leg, one end on the chair legs. Uh -huh. And then I stood in the other. And I'm trying to explain to her, she has no interest. Didn't play jacks, bowler bat, none of that kind of stuff. <laughs> I see, see, this is why technology. Yeah. 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 I said, you all are missing out on a lot. Yes. Oh, we used, to, yeah. we used to do that by the hour. Two girls, one on either end. Uh -huh. And we made our shoes to make um, pot so used to, I had well. never even thought about the pot holders, yeah. but we had the rubber bands. Yeah. I don't know why the rubber bands were so abundant. And you'd you crank up some music or you would sing the song. We would sing the song. Did you guys sing? Yeah, it was. Sing the song. Had a yeah, we had us pattern. You jump in, jump out, jump side to side, jump on, jump in, jump out. <laughs> And it sucks. You still know the rhyme. It's, right, because it was one of my favorites. Yeah. It, it, she's crazy. never done jump rope, any of that kind of stuff. And we could do These it kids for are hours. Mi right. No double dutch for her. No double dutch. And then we used to do something where you had a grid on the on a we drew a grid like a four patch. And then we had somebody in each square you did something. I can't even remember oh, the name of that one. Square. Okay, because yeah. that was fun too. But it was, <laughs> these kids don't have a clue. You know, someday all the electricity is going to go out and they're going to learn that. <laughs> they don't have we a clue. We just plan it <laughs> Well, back to quilting. <laughs> I am not going to cut that out because I think that was pretty cool. Oh, this is cute. Catch Clever. a falling star. And then they've got the missing block. I've seen this at a few quilt shows. I can't remember if they used the same pattern or not, but I think that's pretty cool. It doesn't have the designer on it. That's a pretty sampler. It's called, oh, this is the Farm Girl quilt, part of the blocks. I don't know if it's all of them because I haven't done it, but it's done by Judy Brinker. And the book is The Farm Girl Vintage by Lori Holt. When we were in one of my videos, I showed you the book on that at the quilt show when we did in Hamilton, or the quilt retreat video. It was in one of the quilt shop videos. Just 
beautiful quilts. This one's called My Family, and the designer is the Three Dudes Quilts. I use reversible binding on this wall hanging. Take a picture and send it to It's a pretty star quilt. Hoping you're feeling better. This must be machine embroidered. No? Well, it might be. It's called Cuppa by Seuss Spargo. It's hand applique, machine piece, machine quilted, embroidered, and embellished wool. Beautiful work. It looks like it's machine done. Just beautiful. Awesome job, Miss Linda Ross. <laughs> I think I missed this intersection here. Just gonna do a quick walkthrough. Oh, that's cute needles. I've seen this quilt. It's the designer is So Speedy Quilt by Whole Circle Studio. And it is paper pieced. I'm sure that's paper piece as well. <laughs> We've got an Easter quilt. These are the miniatures. It's cute little bear's paw. I'd say this whole thing is approximately 12 inches. It's by Judy Brinker. And we've got like another stack of wax on a quilt. It's beautiful. <laughs> Paper piece, I'm sure. Gorgeous. Oh, look at the little bitty yo yo's. I say the yo yo's are about a half inch. Maybe. <laughs> And then we've got the state of Missouri here, and it's made in half inch finish squares. Wow. Goodness gracious. And then the fish. I got one more aisle, and then where are you at in this aisle? Okay, I'll be right back. Go. Come back here. Okay. Oh, it's The quilting on this is beautiful. The circles have been appliqued down by hand. It's beautiful. And I'm trying to get through these last quilts. Somebody is asking for my assistance and I need to leave. So I'm trying to make sure that I get the quilts first. And then I will go answer some questions and try to get out of here in a timely manner. <laughs> That's cute. It's called the Expanded Nine Patch. These nine patches were a loose thread school guild exchange about 10 to 12 years ago, I finally came up with this idea to cut them apart and add a one inch strip of various prints. Each 
block has a unique print added. Awesome. Very nicely done. Oh, I love this one. That's all that material pretty. I was collecting for a while. I still have it. <laughs> I love this. And this is called Infinity. And the last quilt here is a braid quilt called Braided Salsa. So I am going to. So I am going to go ahead and end the show here. I'm going to go look at the vendors and I don't record the vendors boots, but I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye everybody. So this is the last section of the quilt show. They actually have where they're selling magazines and small quilted items like fabric coasters. And then they have items on the table and then you can go into the raffle you buy tickets and then you put your number into the appropriate numbered bag that you would like to have a possibility of winning so they've got pretty cool baskets number 66 has a lot you've got quilted tote bags two of them just gorgeous of opportunities I'm just showing you some of the items that are on the table here so you have an idea if you want to do this with your quilt deal even completed quilts table runners wall hangings Christmas stockings just gorgeous so that's it for this video I will see you next time thank you all for watching bye bye